Ethan drinks bleach on the first and final condition of you cringe, you die. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord, he woke me this morning. Swag. Yeah, we're praying tonight. It is, dare I say, a night of prayer. I, uh, you know, we all need a little fucking godliness in our lives. So, I wanted to do this back in May, but Roe v. Wade got overturned and it, like, took over the news cycle. But, um, every year, Ben Shapiro talks about the Met Gala. And every year, he demonstrates how little he understands about what the Met Gala is at all. And I've wanted to talk about it for the last like two years, but other shit just keeps coming up. He thinks he's super cultured. Yeah, he thinks his like love of, I, I guess there's like classical fucking music and like traditional art. It just means he's cultured. When in reality, conservatives are the furthest thing from cultured. Conservatives don't have any like ground for culture. So they don't have any perspective and they can't interpret culture because the only lens they have is conservatism. And I mean, Ben Shapiro is a grifter, obviously. I don't think he genuinely believes a lot of the things that he says, but I do take him at face value when he is being holier than thou and like gatekeeping and like pretentious in the way that he is when it comes to art and music and fashion. I do believe him when he's like this. Ben Shapiro should go on the Met Gala, next Met Gala so he could do the, the gun show. Yeah. We photographers, interviews, everyone will be is this here the Hunger to Games? celebrate you. Ben reacts the Met Gala. So the Met Gala, it is God. the apotheosis of glitz and glamour. Hang on, sorry, he's already breaking out the th thesaurus. The highest point in the development of something, culmination or climax. You could have said that. And insanity. It's just a bunch of- But Ben Shapiro wouldn't know what a climax is if it, if it, if- But Ben Shapiro wouldn't know a climax if it hit him in the head. You guys get it. <laughs> Every time I see that man, he's wearing the same shirt. That's true. I'm gonna apotheosize real quick. Of very, very rich, famous people dressing up like complete and utter morons. It's un- I'm already, I've already cringed at his use of the word apotheosis. <laughs> his hair texture hasn't fully loaded yet. So uh, that's a drink. Unbelievable. We're gonna go through this display of excess and wealth directly from Pan Am in just one second. This video is sponsored by Ring. Okay, it's Billy Eilish's brother. Uh, Ben's a libertarian, by the way, and Ring will, like, sell the information that they record to, like, anybody, including the government. That's his yarmulke. No, 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 His hair also looks bad. I mean, he looks happier than Billie Eilish. Then again, every human being looks happier than Billie Eilish. Does he know what being a model is? Fuck, I gotta drink again. Yeah, models don't like fucking smile all the time. Yeah, you really got her for these incredibly like well done like pictures where she looks very attractive. You got it, man. You look, you look great in comparison. Here is a yeah, how dare women not smile enough? That's really what he's trying to say. Who apparently just walked into both parents' closets and took whatever's left over. He's like, I'm gonna take dad's jacket, but I'm gonna take mom's blouse. I'm gonna take dad's pants, but mom's skirt. I'm gonna put it all together. He's not wearing a skirt. That's part of the jacket, asshole. You fucking dumbass. I also love that like he thinks that these actors are choosing their outfits. They're not. That's not how it works. Ben Shapiro has done like five Met Gala videos and he still thinks that celebrities are there to like flaunt clothes that they bought. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, the Met Gala, unless you pay to go there, which most of these celebrities do not, the Met Gala is invitation only, and it's a it's basically a big runway for fashion designers and artists to do really experimental things with models that are really well known. Like for example, AOC's Tax the Rich, Rich dress, she didn't fucking buy that. An artist asked her to wear it, and she did. This is just an excuse to shame people's appearance and, and slut shame them. Yeah, absolutely. And it's also, uh, you know, his fucking like fascist, like traditional art fetishization coming out as well. And look like an idiot. Let's do this thing. So yeah, this one, she apparently just went to the lamp store. <laughs> you fucking, oh, you're killing it, Ben. <laughs> Do you think he wrote these down or do you think he's saying this off the cuff? He went to, uh, she went to the lamp store. <laughs> Nailed it, man. Yeah, what kind of lamps, bro? It's a big ass lamp. And like, yeah, some of this shit looks weird. It's like experimental fashion. High fashion is always strange because something has to push the envelope, but fascists don't believe in that. Fascists believe that art needs to be like 
very specific and never change. It needs to be like hyper realistic, orderly, perfect, like fucking social realism or academic realism from like the mid fucking 1800s. Like that's, it, and that's it. That's the only acceptable kind of art. And it was like, I'd like to look like that, like the lamp. Not, not like a nice lamp, like like kind of an ugly lamp in your grandmother's basement that she took down years ago but couldn't give away, didn't have the heart to give away. So yeah, lighting up the room like a, like a lamp. Straight from gutting grandpa's hogs on the farm. <laughs> uh, like, yeah, this is whack as fuck. It's funny. It's a bad fit, but it's like funny. Like not all art is meant to like appeal perfectly to you. <laughs> that Jackie grandpa's hog. <laughs> I think Ben's grandmother has something else in her life she'd rather get rid of. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> he says like he knows from experience. Yeah, no fucking shot. Ben's never been around a fucking farm animal. Here is. <laughs> Isn't this the. <laughs> It's just, it's so funny he can't contain himself. Who's, yeah, that's true. Who says gutting grandpa's hogs can't be high fashion? Red Glove's funny. This is the guy from uh, the, the gay cowboy movie. Right, this Power of the Dog guy, right? Cody McFit, McSmee, Mc, McFoofoo. Right. What? Gay cowboy movie. I mean, he recognized them and then just said a bunch of gibberish. Right, here I am, picked up some, some dad jeans, got some work boots. Yeah, he knows what he's wearing, Ben. <laughs> like, that's like, I think it's so funny that he's just like pointing out what he's wearing when it's like, no, he knows. Like the, the, like, the idea of someone wearing work boots and dad jeans and red, like, working, like, like, food working processing gloves is out of place at something like the Met Gala. That's the point of the fit. Like, all of these outfits are like art statements. They're not supposed to be just like normal fucking outfits that live in your closet. They're made by artists and designers who are trying to like make a statement. But like Ben doesn't think clothes can make a statement because it's just a piece of cloth that you put on to cover your genitals. You know, that's like all he can possibly wrap his mind around. And then I went out and just went full Patrick Bateman on somebody. Hey, Paul! You guys remember, you guys remember this movie? This is, if you, that's pretty good. She was just like, I don't have an outfit, I'm grabbing a blanket. Like, not even a nice blanket. Like, the crappy blanket from Grandma. Oh, God. Jump scare. Fucking tr trigger warning. Fucking, uh, not Bill de Blasio. What the fuck is his name? Why can't I remember his name? Somebody help. Somebody help. Yeah, look at Patrick Bateman's long red gloves. What's his name? Bloomberg. Michael Bloomberg. Thank you. Jump scare. Michael Bloomberg. And like, what is wrong with his outfit? I guess he's, he's Ben Shapiro's looking at his wife, who's just wearing like a dress that's like covered in rocks. What's he going to say? He's going to be like, uh, you just collected a bunch of rocks for the beach and put them on a dress. Yeah, Michael Bloomberg. I think he should only wear outsized clothes. That bow tie is actually regular size. Michael Bloomberg is just super small. He looks like he's wearing a clown bow tie and it's just going to start spinning around and go, Whew! and then water comes out. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. <laughs> I like this edit. <laughs> I like this edit a lot. That's funny. Is he just going to ignore the actual, like, more absurd thing? Because Michael Bloomberg's there. Who? <laughs> Michael Bloomberg is literally a Republican. Like, I don't know why Ben doesn't like him. Yeah, Ben Shapiro making short jokes is also a little funny. Yeah, this one is direct from the Haunted Mansion. There are no windows and no doors. See if you can find them. Oh, well, the good news is Pinocchio's- I don't know what the fuck any is like, what does he fucking know the Haunted Mansion ride at Disney like by heart? Like I thought Disney was like fucking gay communists or whatever. Gabe Stromboli. The bad news is that Pinocchio still looks like Pinocchio and is not yet a real boy. I'm a real boy. So this one's from Fantastic Beasts, right? Ethan Ben is actually including clips of the references he's making to help explain the joke. For people who can't process jokes auditorily, so you're being kind of ableist for making fun of Ben Shapiro for being an ally. You're right. You're right. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> How is he going to shit on this? How is he actually going to say that this doesn't look incredible? This fit makes him look like fucking Simon Belmont. Like, he looks like a fucking vampire. This is such a good fit. What is he going to... He's like, this one's from Fantastic. It looks funny. Yeah, because there's a big lapel. Have you ever heard of the 80s, Ben? Oh my God, he's going to point out the nail polish. You're so right. I didn't even notice. And he's probably going to say he's wearing high heels or something, even though those are like boots. Too many colors. Ben Shapiro lives in a black and white world. Emphasis on the white. Uh, honestly, I, I, I kind of like that jacket. It's kind of cool. Okay. So, I don't 
It, but it looked like Harry Potter, and that's why it's bad. I don't even know what, what the idea here was. So first of all, she was playing Battleship with her dress, and but lost. And then he was... Why? It's just, like, studded. It's like, I'm going to grab this rock slash tux jacket, but I feel like the look's incomplete. So I'm going to need to go into the... What, what did he mean by that? What does he mean by anything he's saying? I'm going to need to go into the closet and uh, pick out that lacy tablecloth that you got there, honey. I'm going to staple it to my ass. And, uh, and that's gonna really complete the outfit, I think. Really bold also of Ben, like, criticizing these outfits without seeing them from all angles. Like, he doesn't know if it's staples to his ass. It could, like, go up the back. It could be, like, in his hand on the other side, and he could be holding it with, like, the closer hand. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna staple it to my ass. Me, man who wears clothes, so I have the right to critique them. Yeah, that's his fucking, that's his thought process. Uh, tribute to Dr. Seuss's hunches and bunches. That hat. Uh, that's that's strong huh? stuff. You'll you'll understand how good. Okay, but like, first of all, I've never fucking heard of that. Is that like one of the racist ones? Is that why Ben Shapiro knows it? I feel like this look is incomplete. This guy wearing just a shirt, dude. I just don't, I don't get it. Doc, he's a Dr. Seuss stan, but only the racist part. The hat is cool. I'm sorry. This is a great fit. I don't like. I just don't understand what his problem could possibly be. Is other than like the hat is a little silly. If you're like stupid. Good that references when you look up hunches and bunches. Okay, well, there you go. It's not a good reference. That's a terrible reference. That doesn't look at all like what we're looking at right now. These are completely different things, Ben. Also, I think there's a special place in hell reserved specifically for any editor who's ever used a ding sound effect. It's unacceptable. There are plenty of other noises you can use. It's always too loud. It always comes across as jarring and abrasive. Yeah, CinemaSins is burning. Absolutely unacceptable. It never works. Use like a fucking, like a boo Like a fucking, some fucking generic video game sound. boo is Ethan's editor here? No, she left. Like he could be genuinely, ro genuinely roasting these fits, but he has no sense of humor. He has no sense of humor. He has no sense of fashion. I don't even know what to say about this one. There you go. He can't actually say anything because he's kind of dumb. Yeah, he has no fucking personality. This person looks like they were eaten by a beanbag chair. Hmm. You guys hear that? He said this person looks like they were because... They're a little androgynous, right? So it's like Ben Shapiro is recognizing here that he doesn't know this person's gender just like looking at them. So he's using gender neutral pronouns, which is, you know, what you do usually. But it's like a really big deal when you ask him to do that. He has to just do it himself, like a child, right? Like a literal child. When you tell a child to do something, they don't want to do it. But when you make it seem like it was their idea, then they're, they're like super into it. Ben Shapiro's into beanbag vor. It's like Darth Vader vest, Queen Amidala hair, beanbag skirt, hitman armband. I will find you. And I will kill you. And uh, as... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not laughing just because it's Amy Schumer. <laughs> but also, she's just fucking standing there. What is she? <laughs> she's fucking stanced up. Imagine seeing this at the end of a hallway. I would fucking be, I'd be so scared. As always, Amy Schumer just looks like a sloppy drunk. I don't mind telling you that I have an addiction. I do. As always, doesn't matter. What the fuck is that clip? That's such a, it's so annoying. Have you ever seen that South Park episode where they have like the hippopotamus putting together random verbs and nouns and that's how they come up with ideas for Family Guy flashbacks? That's Ben Shapiro's editing team. Yeah. No matter what she's wearing or where she is, she looks like she just rolled out of bed, drunk off her ass. What's your favorite part about like coming to this and like looking around? And like, what's your favorite part? Is it seeing judging. everyone? Judging. I love the judge. No, me too, right? I do love the transition from I'm going to wear a cloth sack, which is what she normally wears, to. Yeah, and Ben Shapiro, also, ding, ears are bleeding. But also, like, Ben Shapiro really likes, uh, he's, like, very, very familiar with Billie Eilish's uh, repertoire, apparently. What if I dress up like a big ah! Victorian princess? Oh, I think my fucking headphones are fucked. Hang on one second. Yeah, the fucking residual ding fucking broke me. You know, I also wanted to really show oh. what was, what needs to be revealed, you know? The nipple needs to be free and it's still not. So they're covered, but not quite. Were they covered? Glitz <laughs> <laughs> She's painted? Oh, okay. And it's still not. So they're covered, but not quite. 
This is the face of a man who's seen breasts. Look at him. Look how pissed off he is that he had to look at a booboo, a booba. Glitz and glamour, I believe, was the theme. And uh, it turns out that just stripper, stripper tassels is like. Ben, is the human form not glamorous? Can you not be, can you not like revel in the human form? I thought you were a man of God. Ben said, I hate mommy's milky. Booba make Ben angry. <laughs> so sad to see a boob hater. <laughs> Pathetic, really. Yeah. The thing now. Uh, also, free the nipple, but not quite is, is quite a slogan there. Oh, yeah, maybe. Ben, because she would get fucking arrested if she actually took the tassels off. I guess she had tassels over her nipples. Because she would get fucking arrested, and that says something. That's a statement in and of itself. Do you think it's, like, cool? Women can't be top topless, but the only acceptable art is Greco-Roman sculptures famously clothed. Yeah. And, like, fucking 14th century Christian paintings with famously never fucking showed nipple. Yeah, and free the nipple has been a thing for a while, but conservatives love to pretend, like, every time they encounter something they know has existed for a while, it's the first time. Yeah, he, he blurred a lot more than the nipple, and there was not- you didn't have to do that because her nipples were covered, but it was probably for YouTube monetization purposes. The world better. Uh... I fucking hate Jared Leto, but this was kind of cool. This fit was kind of cool. I'm sorry. Whoever invited Jared Leto could fuck off, though. It's sad that this person was killed. Or is that Jared Leto? I thought this was Jared Leto. If this is, then fuck Jared Leto. But if it's not, then it's not Jared. Oh, okay. I don't know why I thought by it was Jared Leto. Just completely ingested by a slinky. That's the, that's not what a slinky looks like. Like, at all. The things that you're saying don't make any sense. Yeah, porcupine, sea anemone. He looks like a lot of things that aren't a fucking slinky. Lionfish. Yeah, he just saw like silver and was like, ah, slinky. Because he's fucking horrible at improv and has no personality. Doesn't know fucking anything about anything. Looks like a victim of Magneto. Yeah. Frederick Robertson, Swedish creative director. He's the creative director of all of Sweden? This looks like something out of the... Nope, he's not. I like how he just says that joke and then moves on. Self. It looks like basically he ate some sort of sea anemone and then it went and all the spikes just directly out of him. I mean, I could see <laughs> out of him. <laughs> okay. Does that mean it doesn't look cool? Wearing this like to the office one day. That's the thing about all these looks is that they're, they're so wearable, really. Yeah, to the fucking Met Gala, Ben. You, there's a reason that you don't see Billie Eilish wearing the thing that she wore at the Met Gala. There's a reason that you don't see that everywhere, and it's because there's a reason there you can't buy that fucking sea an enemy looking ass outfit in stores because it's custom made by an artist for a purpose. We'll get into more of this insanity in just one second. First, Ring makes an alarm. Ring alarm. Shut the so fuck up. This Ring sells your info. Gone pro with Ring. Ring is filming Ben Shapiro and selling it to the government. <laughs> 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 Fucking dumbass. <laughs> Forward slash Ben Shapiro. Wait, real gold? Yes. Me too. No. Oh, how fabulous <laughs> of us. How could this be real? These are people of the people. They're both wearing gold leaf on their eyes. These are gold leaf is dirt cheap. You like high school students use it for art projects. It's not fucking expensive at all. Again, these are your Hollywood socialists over here. I mean, good for this. What the fuck told you they were socialists? Who told him that? Why does he think that? Hollywood socialists over here. Did he put lol in his uh, video title? Yeah, he does that a lot. Or whoever runs the Ben Shapiro, Ben Shapiro, the Daily Wire channels. Um, it happens a lot too. Oh, Pete Buttigieg discovers summer. Yeah, that's the new conservative talking point is uh, summer is hot. So therefore global warming isn't real because summer's always been hot, even though we're like facing record temperatures and like trucks are fucking melting in Texas. Yeah, Emma Chamberlain, famous Hollywood socialist. One over here for having the arm strength to carry bowling balls in her sleeves. Hilarious. Look, it's a creepy drug addict and... Uh... <laughs> Dude, come on, man. Ben Shapiro will simultaneously be like, Pete Davidson's a creepy drug addict, and then be like, Ronald Reagan was the best president of all time. <laughs> like, dude. Yeah, not about the man's outfit, because uh, Pete Davidson didn't have, like, a fucking fancy outfit. He just wore a fucking suit and tie. And also, the, the fucking... <sighs> Like, there are so many creepy drug addicts in the Republican Party. Have you heard of Matt Gates? Have you heard of fucking Donald Trump and his son, Donald Trump Jr.? <laughs> but, I mean, whatever. Like, I'm sure it's because, you know, 
Donald Trump Jr. is like the cokehead, but you know, Pete Davidson smokes weed, so Ben reacts to Ethan Vid when. That'd be funny. I would love that. It won't happen for a long time though. Yeah, Ben needs to smoke some fucking weed. Yeah, uh, and Kim Kardashian. She's wearing Marilyn Monroe's dress. She is the greatest of all lawyers, Kim Kardashian. That's what that's what she's known for, actually. He got No. She's actually not known for that. But the thing is about that is that she just fucking graduated law school. So she's not even a practicing lawyer. Rob Ford was like proudly a drug addict. Yeah. Pretty woman dumb. Pretty woman can't do smart. Everyone knows that. Also, pretty woman not pretty. That's Ben Shapiro's fucking point of view. Yeah, Ben Shapiro making fun of someone for going to law school. Meanwhile, Ben Shapiro went to Harvard Law and doesn't like gained nothing from it because he's an incompetent writer. He can't fucking format arguments and like look at him speaking off the top of it off the top of his head he could barely fucking think he's a very stupid man by the way I, I hear a tattoo of the initials of her children on him which frankly his standard for what he decides to ink on himself is really really low it's just i think his diary it's just like what he did that day okay is that is that like inherently a bad thing i think it'd be kind of cool if someone got like their fucking daily activities fucking tattooed on them like slowly and like covered their whole arm or some shit that'd be awesome then you would never forget what you did that day he's like had a good poop and he just like i'm gonna put that right here dude that would be sick are you fucking kidding me also this argument doesn't hold up when you're putting it on his chest where there's like several large pieces of art on there also he did the ding stop like you're comparing it with like art there's no fucking you didn't even highlight any text <laughs> That's Nicki Minaj, and she's gonna go slap the shit out of somebody. I thought that we did that at the Oscars, and it was bad. Oh wow! How important is it? Damn, I haven't seen that in, like since it dropped, and that was fucking. That's crazy. He hit him hard. To see trans women on the carpet at the Met Gala. I think trans representation. If I had had it as a kid, if I had seen it on the carpet as a kid, would have really helped me understand myself. Oh, because <laughs> oh, Ben Shapiro's fucking foaming at the mouth because you know he's got talking points for this. If you, you didn't see it, so now here you are on the Met Gala dressed up in one of the gimp suits from Pulp Fiction. Our society's in great shape, guys. Does Ben Shapiro have object permanence? Does Ben Shapiro know the difference between two very different things? It's all gonna be Show fun. it again, asshole. No, 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 asshole. Show it again. Yeah, that looks like a gimp suit, fucking dumbass. It's a dress, you fucking freak. Only Ben would immediately sexualize the fact that a trans person is on camera in front of him. It says something about the way he thinks. Bro, he is built like a fucking, like a fridge. He built like fucking King K. Rule. Look at that fucking... Look at that chest. You guys saw the pictures of him at the pool or on the yacht? Fuck, I'm already kind of drunk. Bro, how do you look like that? How is it possible to look like this? Also, this is extremely homoerotic. Also, how is he that white? Like, <laughs> he is so white. He's built like this motherfucker. <laughs> look at this. That's what he looks like. He's a cracker. Looks kind of like my grandpa. Like this, it's funny. Yeah. The fucking Elon Torso. He's a saltine. Like, that's like, people are talking about how, like, weird shaped he is, right? And they're right to talk about that. He's built funny. But, like, not enough people are, like, shaming him for being that fucking white. Like, he's so rich. He could go outside anytime he wants. He doesn't do anything. And he's the same color as the yacht behind him. Like, at a certain point, like, like this is the richest man in the world. Look at this fucking dopey motherfucker. He owns Elon Musk, mostly couch surfs at friends' homes. His only consumption is his private jet. That's a fucking lie. I'm sure Elon has at least one yacht. He's a father of, like, seven kids. What, is he fucking making babies on his fucking friend's couch? Yeah, sure, asshole. I fucking don't believe you. Nine kids. Yeah. Yeah, also as if private jets aren't a huge deal. Also, no car. No car. Oh, look, a guy showed up in a tuxedo with his mom. That's the one that they all think is crazy. That one right there. Elon Musk. Yeah, do you know who his mom is? His mom is like a fucking monster. I guess 
guess he, you know, he misses the old South Africa in the 80s. He wants, he wants that back. It reminds me of old Bond movies where, you know, Dr. Evil and guys like that or Goldfinger were, were going to take over the media. 40-year high in inflation. Stock market is in serious shape. We're about to raise the interest rates. You got a war. Raising interest rates lowers inflation, Ben. In Ukraine. So I'm so glad that our celebrity class could get together to dress up like complete morons in things that cost thousands and thousands of dollars, but still look worse than anything that you could have gotten for free at the Salvation Army. Salvation Army isn't free. It's a thrift store. Also, what? Because like bad things are happening in the world, like you want every single person to just not do anything. Like you can make the same fucking dumbass argument about the fact that like you're talking about it with the fact that you made a video. We have a war in Ukraine, inflation, gas prices, Joe Biden has COVID, and good thing we have Ben Shapiro sitting around jacking off in his office. Ben doesn't get enough credit for how funny he is. Ben should have a once a week cultural critique show. His critique is more entertaining than all of the Met Galas ever combined. Bro, you just watched Met Gala highlights. It's very difficult to call what Ben just did critique. Ben Shapiro reminds me of young Sheldon. <laughs> Not Sheldon, young Sheldon. He'll grow up.